right, Abby, there are definitely good reasons to swipe left on people. Then there are the more superficial ones. Yes, I need everyone to just take a, a breather real quick but because before you get your panties in a wad, let's just all admit that we can be a little shallow when it comes to dating. And Kristen challenged me yesterday as we were swiping through my dating apps to admit to some of the more shallow reasons I've been turned off on my apps. Bert, it was so much fun. So you had already left because you had your doctor's appointment. Uh-huh. Um, and I was, you know, Abby was swiping and she showed us a dude and then I immediately, and I'll let him, I'll let you tell him about the dude that you swiped left on, which made total sense. I did not find that superficial. That was not like a minor ick. That was a, a major ick. But then she came across one dude that she swiped left on and it was for such a minor offense. <laughs> <laughs> like, you have to put a list together of minor offenses that you've swiped left on. All right, and, and guys, before you get totally offended, if you might be on this list or have one of these superficial um, um, characteristics, keep in mind, this is also coming from the woman that has never been eager to go on a second date. Because <laughs> <laughs> they're the problem, okay. clearly. So the, the profile we came across yesterday, as I was swiping on Hinge, uh, you know, trying to distract my mind from having a single thought in it, I <laughs> I came across this guy's profile and he was a you know a military guy. I'm like, oh, sounds like a stand-up citizen. And then you look at his face and he had a tampon hanging out of his nose. <laughs> Cassie actually didn't say this was a deal breaker. Um, she said that she thought that this guy would be funny. It shows personality. I think it's funny. He's not afraid of tampons. He's a goofball. That's his first photo. I would totally swipe okay. on that. Everybody's got different preferences. Mm-hmm. Sure. I ain't dealing That's... with no goofs. But then the next guy we came across. <laughs> the next guy we came across. Says the girl in radio. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I'm not interested in dating any goofs. Yeah, we got to balance each other out. Only one of us can be a loser in this relationship. So. <laughs> Save that. So then the next profile I came across. And, and when I say that I swiped and left on this, it was more of like the breaking point. Like I was kind of like doing the critical analysis in my head of like, mm, can I like forget? <laughs> could I like have sex with this man? No. And it was when I came across a video of him shotgunning a Pepsi. <laughs> well, that's impressive. <laughs> and I was like, he's a Pepsi drinker. Uh, so it wasn't even the shotgun. It was uh, just that it wasn't Coke. Oh, it, yeah. was, it was also a poor shotgun. Uh, it he, was a bad shotgun. It was a bad shotgun at that too. And maybe he'd be more into Lana Del Rey because she has that one song referencing what her downstairs area tastes like. Yeah, Pepsi. Mm-hmm. Um, so not for me. I'm yeah. not in the same uh, zip code as Lana Del Rey. I mean, she didn't hesitate. It was the fastest swipe left I've ever seen. It was amazing. I was like, no, it's not even Pepsi Zero. Do you want to get diabetes early? Anyway, okay, so the second one was that in a lot of his prompts, he kept using the smile with the colon and the parentheses. I don't know. There's just something icky about it. Oh. You know, It just feels very feminine. Use, a, use an emoji. You, what do you want? You want emojis? Yeah. Yeah, and just like one. You get one as a man. Like, ever? Per, per year. You get to use it once one a year. One emoji or one, one emoji a year? A single emoji <laughs> a year. You get one time. You gotta <laughs> make it count. <laughs> you gotta make it count. It's gotta be good. Uh, this next one I think you'll be surprised about, and it's because he was too in shape. Now, I think there's a degree of looking attractive because you have like some muscles and it looks like you're fit. Maybe you run. But if you, it looks like all you do is snort protein powder and spend your days at the gym, I just know mm-hmm. that you're not going to have any time for me. Freak. I'm going to take up a lot of t- mm-hmm. your time. That's bad. Uh, this next one. <laughs> so on Bumble, you can scroll down to see what artists they listen to on Spotify. And one of his top artist, if you want to call it, was the white noise machine. <laughs> that's, that's actually fun. I think that's very funny. That's hilarious. And it's, it's better than most stuff played on the radio. <laughs> <laughs> and I just thought, that's not for boys. You don't need, why do you need to be listening to white noise machines? Um, Wait, this, that, that's not, you don't think men need white noise? No. <laughs> <laughs> we can't sleep. <laughs> we just trying to get a good night's rest. <laughs> go, to, go to bed like a man. <laughs> just put your, put your your head on a rock. Yes. Uh, she no said, babies and toddlers <laughs> need noise machines. Not a man. Shoot some whiskey. Pop a melatonin. No, not even that. You don't need melatonin. You're a boy. Okay, this next one. Um, I, there's something about a, a man saying that he's spiritual is a big turnoff for me. Really? I, and like, you're spiritual? No, I'm religious. Okay. So what is the difference between spiritual?
spiritual and religious. But spiritual to me means you can't make up your mind. Like you, like what do you worship? You know, like I can get on board with you being Christian, you being Jewish, you practicing anything because at least you're committing to something. You saying you're spiritual just means you could be worshiping anything. Like, I'll be honest, <laughs> I, I feel spiritual at a Taylor Swift concert, like when she has that one section and she like takes us to church, but that's as far as I'm getting on the spiritual So you realm. can't dabble in religion for you. That would be like not committing to religion is spirituality. Oh, this you is want hilarious. somebody committing to a religion. You gotta commit to something. Okay. What, At this it, point, just being a man will get you disqualified. <laughs> Thanks. Honestly. Um... This one I know I'm going to get some hate for, and I know that this is a valuable profession. You didn't think spirituality no. was going to be the one you got to eat on? <laughs> <laughs> Screw you and your crystals, bitch! <laughs> <laughs> this next one, so this is actually true. So I, I, um, <laughs> I saw this guy. I thought he was very cute. He has the floppy brown hair, which is my thing. I love a man with floppy mm-hmm. brown hair. But he said he was a plumber. And there's just something about being a plumber that is just so unsexy to me. Abigail. But I know it's a great profession. I know they make good money. Yes. So it's not hating the plumbers. I just don't want to sleep with you. <laughs> so, so if you're a spiritual plumber who likes good sleep <laughs> and likes to drink Pepsi, Abby does not want to date you. Drink Coke Zero like a man. Oh, okay. Man. Um, this next one might just be specific to me, but he wore shorts down to his knees. Oh, yeah. They're too long <laughs> Shorts, not good. Like Bermuda ones? Got, yes. Yeah. And they hit your kneecaps, bruh. It's a no uh-huh. for me. That's hilarious. Uh, <laughs> this guy had a dog that I thought was too feminine. You thought what? the dog was too feminine? What was the dog? <laughs> it was like one of those scruffy little white dogs. I'm like, it look, you know, like the, you know how every like suburban white family has a crusty white dog named Bella? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> like a Maltese? Like a Maltese. <laughs> and it looks like it's on its deathbed. He had one of those. <laughs> and you broke up with him because of that. Well, I didn't. So we were We didn't get in a relationship. Yeah. Swipe left. I didn't get with him with a twenty-five mile radius of this oh, man. So he had his little crusty white dog in his profile, and that's <laughs> what caused you. Normally, do, dudes with dogs like that's like that seals the deal. No, but this was a feminine dog. Sorry, Bella. Okay, uh, this next one. Um, his profile pic was a mirror selfie, and I just couldn't mm-hmm. get on board with That's that. That's legit. That's fair. It was legit. Okay, thank you for agreeing me on one. Okay. One. <laughs> you one. one. Did you one. Yeah. Did I get a single one? This is better than the entire industry of plumbing. <laughs> <laughs> it's literally making sense why you never get second dates. <laughs> like, on the date, he probably is like, I'll have a Pepsi, please, and she's like, swipe yeah, left out of the restaurant. <laughs> All right, this is my last one, um, and I also feel like this one's legit. So he's from Ohio, and I went out with a guy from Ohio once who sucked and so I was like I can't go back to that also I can't be spending my holidays in Ohio not my vacation days (laughs) I am not spending Christmas in Cincinnati (laughs) yeah these these actually make sense and you can dislike somebody by proxy like if you dated somebody that loved a band and it was a bad breakup you have to hate that band by proxy I completely agree so these were my last 10 icks from the last um, hour it's not a band for Abby (laughs) it's just white noise apparently Vanessa's right here with you on Superficial Swipe Left. Hey, Vanessa. Hey. Um, I stopped dating. Like, he was actually a really nice guy, but I stopped dating him because he had, like, the tiniest teeth. It was like his adult teeth never came in. <laughs> it was like he still had baby teeth, and I could not get past it. Like, kissing him was like the way I was like, I can't do it. <laughs> I, I, like, so I stopped dating him. Not the chiclet teeth. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The Burt Show.